How's it going guys? My name's uh, Kyle. I'm the lead guitar player for Earthworks. Um, basically what I'm going to talk about today is just a little bit about how we've uh, progressed since Hollow Earth. Um, plenty's changed since then. We have a new guitar player, Colin Brown. Uh, brings a whole lot to the table in terms of uh, like style and sound. Got nothing but good words for Colin. He's a great guitar player, he's a great addition to this band, and we're very stoked to have him. What I'm bringing to the band? <sighs> what do you bring to the table for sound, right? Being new to the band, like... I actually really enjoy having Colin around. He's not, like, he's not just a guitar player. Like, he just... It sounds cheesy and corny to say, but, like, he's... He just kind of meshes really well with the band. He's bringing a lot more melody to the table and not just like aggressive crushing like riffs and leads like a lot more not a soft sound but like just something like it's just got like soul when you listen to it. They were I mean balls to the wall heavy before I joined and like I feel like I've been able to calm them down and take them on a new desire path away from the heavy road and kind of make things a little different but definitely make things still Earthworks core. So basically, um, since Hollow Earth, uh, we're trying to progress and uh, really just expand as artists off of what we did with Hollow Earth. So like, um, 2020 was like really meant to captivate like our uh, the heavier side of things and like how we're gonna progress in that sense. And uh, little little teaser here, we got a um, single coming out in the next like month or two. We're not entirely sure on the finer details yet. We have a a new single that's close to done that we plan on doing a music video for. Um, that's got a sadder approach to it. So with this EP, we're trying to find a, a, a little more uh, deeper topics to really root to people and uh, connect with people in a different way that we did on Hollow Earth and even with the single 2020. Uh, Travis has dug into some deeper, deeper personal meanings and stuff like that for his lyrical content and my, me myself. Uh, I've dug into not only personal stuff, but I'm also trying to kind of relate my lyrics that I write to uh, another audience. I want to say like it's depressing almost to listen to like you you feel sad whenever you hear it. Uh, I like music like that so I mean like I, I just think it was a perfect opportunity to kind of like really put my influence towards it so I can't wait to see what Nick has to say about that. We try to write as we kind of produce so like you know we'll lay down some drums um, Usually I write it all out on in MIDI and then Kyle will record to it or he'll record a riff and we'll start kind of, you know, accumulating riffs and drum parts and MIDI, blah, blah, blah. And then I kind of like slowly mix it as we go whenever I get a chance. So like the song gets polished as it gets recorded. And then when it's, when we've got some parts done, you know, we kind of finish it up. We've been influencing ourselves with a lot of other uh, bands and just uh, bands that are not only uh, big bands that we just listen to in general but with a lot of local bands we've taken into uh, many aspects in, of uh, their music and we've been trying to you know relate to uh, a wider crowd than what we released with Hollow Earth as we kind of stuck to one topic with Hollow Earth. Working with Nick it's actually like he's a lot better than like what he gives himself credit for. I think like there's a lot of times he'll write something that kind of puts me back in my seat. With 2020 we were actually able to experience uh, what it would be like to write a song together and that's where that's what we did with 2020. Like me and him don't write the same way I find like he's very um, very metaphorical in the sense of how he goes about writing his lyrics whereas like I'm kind of straight to the point. With this EP we're hoping to be able to sit down together and create an ultra song that everyone can relate to from both my lyrics and Travis's lyrics and be like, yeah, that's good stuff. We don't have a name for this single yet, but it is almost done. And whenever it is done, you guys are gonna love it. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll pass it off here because my vocalist, Nick Zevenberg, in the, uh, the booth right now is getting a little bit impatient. So uh, yeah, signing out.